Hey everyone, welcome back to the Sports Rant. Um, hello to all my new subscribers, and if you haven't subscribed, don't forget to subscribe. Comment down below um, on what I'm going to talk about, which you probably know by the title of the video, is the Heisman Trophy, and who was gypped out of the Heisman Trophy. Now that's what other people think, not necessarily my opinion. Um, I do think that Matt Barkley should have gone to the Heisman ceremony in New York. Um, and there's a lot of speculation on why he isn't there. There's a lot of speculation on should he be there or shouldn't he be there, if he's even good enough to be there, if USC is being um, punished more because of Reggie Bush's sanctions, because this is dealing with the Heisman um, voters and the Heisman committee, and Reggie Bush kind of made a mockery of the Heisman Trophy ceremony, getting the Heisman Trophy unworthily, returning it after some time of saying, I don't want to return it. You know, there's lots of, a lot of tension built up with USC and the Heisman Award right now. And so that's what a lot of people are saying is the problem with, the reason, I should say, with Matt Barkley not going to New York this weekend for the, the ceremony. Um, because it's pretty obvious, his stats are better than Andrew Luck. Um, so if you're going off of like who's the best quarterback statistically, Matt Barkley would be right up there, in top one or two quarterbacks in the country statistically. Now Robert Griffin the third, I think, is better than Matt Barkley and deserves. Um, and I, in my personal opinion, he's the one that's going to win the Heisman Award. Um, possibly Andrew Luck, just because of hype. Um, it depends on how the voters vote, obviously, but. The real question is, why is the main reason that Matt Barkley is not going to New York? Is it, and comment below on what you think, is it USC's issues with the Heisman Award right now and they're pretty much jipping him out? Now, that argument is, is, is flawed because what is said to be the, the reason, why, the, the way that the players are sent to New York and given an invitation is the top five votes, vote getters. So the players, supposedly, the players that are going to New York this weekend have the most votes out of all of the players in the country. Now, if this is true, then there is no argument about Matt Barkley not going to New York because that means that he's not the top five vote getters. And, and if that is true, now... A lot of people doubt that. A lot of people think it's a computer situation. Like, um, you know, these players got the most first place votes, second place votes, third place votes, and then throw in some, you know, it, and no one really knows except for, I think, a very limited amount of people on how exactly these five players get to New York. But um, the real argument is, why is Matt Barkley not there? Comment below on what you think. Do you think it's, like I said earlier, the BCS is... Um, refusing to send, I should say, the Heisman, sorry. The Heisman committee is, is not wanting an SC player there. Is it that Matt Barkley just isn't a top five vote getter? Is it that um, that they wanted to make a more rounded class where you have a cornerback, um, two running backs, two quarterbacks, um, so is it that, is it that they, you know, he was maybe the third best vote getter in quarterbacks, but they wanted to put in a couple of different positions so that it wasn't all quarterbacks comment below on what you think. Um, and, and we'll see what, what the nation thinks about this. I think personally that, um, he just was maybe the third best quarterback and they didn't want to send all quarterbacks and they wanted to have. Because the, uh, I forget his name right now, but the the running back at Alabama who's going has a very good shot at winning this. And so if there was three quarterbacks, a running back and a cornerback, it wouldn't be as rounded. And I think that, um, I personally think that Robert Griffin III, the quarterback from Baylor, will win. Um, and in second, if not first, I think the the running back from Alabama will win. So also comment below on who you think will win. 
and uh, stay tuned for our next video.